there is a functional group that is always forgotten when people talk about acid derivatives, and that is the nitrile. Nitriles are acid derivatives because you have a carbon with three bonds to a more electronegative atom. And actually, nitriles are a really handy way to make acid derivatives. And they're handy because they're made in a completely different way. Normally, when you think of making an acid derivative, you think, oh, I'll start from the carboxylic acid, and I'll react with thionyl chloride, and then I'll m make whatever acid derivative I want. Nitriles are different because you can make them through an SN2 reaction. So let's say we want to make this carboxylic acid. Um, and let's say for some reason we can't buy it. Well, we can always take the alkyl halide and treat it with sodium cyanide and we'll just do a simple SN2. You know, and cyanide's great at SN2 reactions. It's fantastic. And then we get an acid derivative. Now, it's, this is not a carboxylic acid. This is a nitrile. And I said we want to make the acid. Well, the way we make the acid from this nitrile is the way we convert any acid derivative to the carboxylic acid. Um, oh, I'm sorry, make this acid derivative into the acid is we're going to hydrolyze it with water and sulfuric acid. All acid derivatives undergo this reaction to form the parent carboxylic acid. So this is a really flexible way to make carboxylic acids. And it's not obvious because you think, oh, this nitrile, it carries around this nitrogen, what a pain. But no, it, it's just an acid derivative that we can hydrolyze at the end. So, and you can even think of more complicated problems. Like, um, you know, what, what if I have this alkyl halide? And what I what really want to do is make this ester. Well, it's no problem. Take your bromide, treat it with sodium cyanide. I'm not going to show mechanisms here, but that'll give you your SN2, gives you your nitrile. Go ahead and hydrolyze this to a carboxylic acid. Now, the problem is how do we go from Oh boy, I kind of messed up, didn't I? Uh, th this actually in the compound I want. Go figure. I want to make this ester. Let's put a big X through that. Um, so now we have the carboxylic acid. How do we make the ester? Well, first we'll treat with thionyl chloride. We'll make the acid chloride. And now we'll treat with sodium methoxide. And that'll do an attack on our carbonyl. And we'll kick out the chloride and we'll make our ester. So nitriles are a really handy way to, um, to make new acid derivatives. Now they do introduce an extra carbon because the, nit the cyanide contains a carbon, but it, it's a really quick method to get access to acid derivatives.